Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our discussion about the First Amendment debate that has been going on with respect to the current situations involving Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. This is Dr. Tracy McCarthy, psychologist, attorney, and educator. We're going to be addressing the issue of free speech and the extent to which such is guaranteed in the United States Constitution. Now this issue not only involves individual speech, but it brings up the question of freedom of the press also, because in the current world that we live in, uh, many individuals are uh, media makers. And so with social media, this issue of freedom of the press also comes up with respect to uh, these issues. And so we're going to be reading the First Amendment directly and we're going to just focus on the language that's related to free speech. And so this, uh, you can find this at uh, constitutionannotatedcongress.gov. It states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. Now, what's interesting about this is that individuals are talking about uh, free speech. However, there's another element to these discussions, and it does involve religion. But we're not going to address that right now. We're just going to focus on the free speech issue. And then you can take that and utilize that for your analysis of the free exercise of religion issue. So in order to analyze this, I have lifted out the specific language so that you are not distracted by the other wording. And we can get right to the point about the extent to which free speech is guaranteed in the Constitution. And so what you see here is that what the Constitution actually says in the First Amendment is Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. Now, for many people, this is construed as uh, meaning that individuals can say whatever they want to say, whenever they want to say it, and however they want to say it. Um, that's not actually what this uh, amendment is about. This amendment is about actions of the government. And so generally, uh, what we are seeing are actions related to uh, private parties. And so what you see here is that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. And so that's the focus there. It's not really a guarantee of freedom of speech. It's a guarantee that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. And so what we are dealing with here um, is not the government. We are not dealing with Congress. Now, there are some dynamics that are going on with respect to some uh, bills that have been introduced related to uh, free speech potentially. Um, but as of right now, uh, this is what we have with respect to the First Amendment. And so it's not guaranteeing a freedom of speech. It's not guaranteeing a freedom of the press. It's simply saying that Congress won't be engaged in abridging freedom of speech or of the press. Now, some individuals might argue that because some of the social media makers actually get funding or tax breaks, things like that from the government, that there is a, a governmental element in there uh, somewhere. And of course, you know, people could argue about that. Um, but right now, as we have it, when we are talking about the First Amendment, this is essentially all that we have. Now, there are some other dynamics with respect to, like I mentioned, religion in here. But it's the same dynamic related to Congress. However, in one of these situations, you do have an employer employee dynamic going on uh, with Kyrie Irving. And so therefore, uh, some other issues might come up with respect to this religious dynamic. It's not completely clear at this point um, that Kyrie Irving is asserting a religious 
position uh, per se uh, with respect to the posting. However, that issue is sort of out there in the air. There's another interesting dynamic going on with respect to one of the individuals. And it's not just about free speech and the free speech debate. It's also about thought because there is a request for one of them to articulate whether they have a certain thoughts. And this is a very odd dynamic with respect to this discussion. Uh, freedom of speech is something that you know people can easily debate. Uh, freedom of thought and policing of thought uh, that's going off in a totally different direction and we're not going to address it right now but it is something uh, that people should be considering because that is something that has been put on the table this dynamic of policing of thought and finally while we're on the topic of debates uh, there is another debate that's out there and it is should we declare a pandemic amnesty uh, the answer to that is um, that's probably not a good idea.